Hello everyone. Recently I got the desire to play Persona 3 FES again. I played it about a year ago and I played it on PCS X2 using the controllable party mod. I've since reimaged my computer and I couldn't figure out how to get the controllable party mod working again, but after some troubleshooting and struggling, I was able to figure it out. So I wanted to sh record this video and share it with anybody else who may be having difficulties getting this mod working. Some things to start off with. This mod will only work on three different ISOs. It will work on the NTSC USA ISO. It will work on the undub version of the ISO, which is the English NTSC version, but it has the Japanese audio and voices onto it instead of the English ones. And then there's a different undub version that has different background music. So any three of those versions will work. The other thing we need is a pnatch file which has all of the codes in order to get the controllable party mod working. Uh, TSC has a paste bin which has the file and all the codes in it. All we need to do is download it. It's going to download as a text file which we'll need to change. So we need to change the text file to match the CRC of the ISO that you chose to download. In order to find that, all we need to do is go to PCSX2. We need to go to MISC and Show Console. And then we need to run and mount, mount and run the ISO. So if we go to CDVD ISO selector and then mount our ISO, then we go to System and boot ISO. I just chose fast because it makes it a little bit quicker. So once it loads in, we can close it. And if we scroll back up to the top, at this blue section here under patches, it has a line that says ELF, and to the right of that we have game CRC equals. And anything after the 0x is what our CRC is. It's also shown at the top of the console window right before the status section here. So now that we know what our CRC is, we can go back to our text file. <clears throat> now we need to copy this and move it to the cheats section for PCS X2. And we're going to cut it. And the default location for the cheats folder in PCS X2 is C users my user documents. If you chose a different install location for PCS X2, you'll need to move this file to the cheats folder wherever it is. So I'll go to documents, PCS X2, and cheats, and I'll paste the file. Now we're going to want to click view and check off the file name extensions box. Since it downloaded as a text file, we need to change it to a pnatch. So we're going to rename it. I'm going to delete all the characters. And now we're going to rename the text file to the same name as our pnatch. So it's going to be 94A82AAA.pnatch. It's going to ask if you want to change it. Just say yes. Now that we have our pnatch file in the PCS X2 cheats folder, we're going to go back to PCS X2, click system, and make sure enable cheats is checked off. And then we are going to boot our ISO again. I'm just going to load a previous save I have to show that the controllable party mod is working. So I'm here in Tartarus. I'll just go to the 14th floor.
and now I'll go up to the 15th floor and get into combat so you can see that the mod is indeed working. So as you can see, I have control of the main character like normal, but if I wait, I'm brought to Yukari. So here I have pretty much all the same options the main character does. I have attack, I can use skills for the persona, items, I can change tactics, which doesn't really matter because I can control the party, I can escape, or wait. And I have the rush and attack options. The only thing to really consider using this mod is that certain items won't work. Turn-based restoration items like um, SP, whatever the SP adhesives are, or the HP restore items every turn will not work. And I believe the homunculus also does not work. But otherwise you have free control over the party, which is a much greater benefit than the drawback of those few items not working. So I hope this helps and enjoy the game.